Okay. Thank you. I, thought, I thought you were going to say you spoke Spanish fluently. Close. We'll see action. Here we go. Final two games of the day. A ton of show. Baby soft touch in the paint. He still got some baby weight. He uses it to his advantage. <laughs> One sip. I can say that about a ton of show. It's all love, big fella. Oh, you won't love that so much. You missed it close range. But some Serbian flavor on this Utsunomiya team with Petro Sukor as well. Saito has changed his uh, hair. Usually Saito has the uh, the blonde hair. Yeah. I call him a Super Saiyan because of that. He went into, uh, what's that, Super Saiyan God mode? I guess. That, that's. He's going more brunette now. I don't know what he's... There's Milivojevic. The gladiator. 3-2. Trying to stop Atanasio from getting to the bucket. And some quarter will come in. Saito will check it up top. With Nikola Lasic defending. Saito. Got a foul off ball. It'll be, oh, actually, foul on Utsunomiya. So they'll give it over here to Team Partizan. And Ivojevic and Sukor doing battle on the knee. We're going to see if Milivojevic is moving better on that ankle. You said he didn't look like he was 100% to you in game one. I feel like he lacked a little bit of burst. I mean, I know this guy is quick off his feet. Oh, he certainly got a quick trigger. And he is firing at will right now. Gets another two to go down in a three-point lead. Wait a minute. It's Tupac Sukur <laughs> from okay. long range. Yeah. Lozic lays up. Saito, down to Atanasio. Look, he's big, but he's nimble. The big fella's got some touch. Yeah, beautiful spin off the defense. Oh, Lasic might have got away with one there. Mm -hmm. He did. Saito! No. Milivojevic wants to rock. Get it to the Gladiator. The Gladiator. No. But iron that time. That's a smart play though by Milivojevic as Atanasov is playing a drop cover. So he's staying underneath the ball screen. You'll see it here as well. Uh -huh. Creates a lot of space for open shots as he's not stepping up to the level of the ball screen at all. He is dropping all the way down into the paint. So that means the guard that's guarding Milivojevic is on an island. That's not a good place to be. Well, we're on an island here, but, you know, a small island by That's yourself. True. Yeah, it's a smaller island. I get what you mean. Yeah, Tom Hanks would be proud. <laughs> I got some uh, I got some castaway stuff for you this year. Oh, nice. I, I like ain't it. bringing it out yet. Okay. Lasic has that one roll off the rim. Atana Show. He decides to give it up this time. Not a bad idea. Sharon is caring after all. And Ivojevic. Oh, Torbica, he's fouled. Had a good chance for a, for a steal in that situation, but just mistimed it. And Nakanishi, but there's Nakanishi getting the uh, last score there for Utsunomiya. I like the way that Nakanishi came in there to try to get the strip. Now it results in a, a foul. He came in off the weak side to play help side, and they rotated over to the weak side as well. Not not something you see a lot in Greek three, right? Mm -hmm. But it can be effective if you have the right personnel for it. There's Sukor, not really sure where he's going with it. To the corner. Look at that battle. Sukor wins. So Pizza ends up on the floor. 8-7, Partizan. Lasic. Whips it out. Torbica can't land it. Offensive rebound that goes to Partizan. 
Milivojevic on the run. He will draw the foul. And a TV timeout. Milivojevic kicking himself for missing that layup. Would have had an and one opportunity instead. He'll shoot one when we come out of this brief break. His team up by one, three minutes into this last Pool C contest. I like the, both, the way both teams have played. It's a physical game. Both teams have played to their strengths. I'm just curious to see how long Partizan can hold on as far as conditioning with three guys, because that is one of the toughest things to do wow. in the game of 3x3, playing with only three people. It gets you tired. There's no rest. There's no recovery except for timeouts. You have to be smart with those. Not only that, I'm thinking ahead. You know who the, the winner of this game gets in the quarters. Oob. Well, let's worry about that later. <laughs> All right. So there's your consolation prize for getting the day two. You get Oob in the quarterfinals. Losic getting positioned on the inside. So pizza. Doing battle with Atana Show. Unwilling to give the big fella anything easy. As that last feed on the inside. And Losic making it count. 10 7. Partisan. Uh oh. The way Partisan can keep up with this game is to try to outpace Team Mutsunomiya by trying to win before the, uh, before the time ends. You get the 21 points, there's no more tired. And Atanasho is a force, man. He is a force. He's if, good if at sealing people. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, forget about it. You're either fouling that man or he's getting a bucket. And Torbica's not a pushover in the post. Torbica's a, a big dude, but Atanashov keeping that Wilson away from him, finishing with his left hand and his right hand in this game so far. And there's a semi-truck. Oh, nice connection. 10-9, Torbica before the shot attempt. Pushing the back. Atana Shov is back in. Billy Voyevich trying to give him a two-piece. They changed their tactic. Did you see he didn't drop? He came out and met him at the top of the screen, contested that shot. That's in-game coaching. Player coaching. Oh. Tana Show was the man is gifted. Ho ho ho. 10-10. Lasic, no way. Mili Voyevic trying to play some post game that pass is too long or did he get a whistle Park sound with a timeout 10 10 and again Utsunomiya coming back into this game on the broad shoulders of Atanas job he said he's you he said he's gifted he, he should be in Professor Xavier's school then <laughs> yeah there he's, you go. A he's a mutant there you he's go not normal no, but I like his footwork and especially like his touch. He is has a great touch for being as big as he is. Good outside shooter, has a little float game, a hook shot, push shots around the rim. Whatever he gives up on defense, because he does give up something, he is making up on offense. Now, time to show stands 205. I, I had to look at his measurables because I'm like, he's standing right in front of us right now. I'm like, man, he is. It's a massive dude, man. I think it's uh, it's height combined with the fact that he is uh, a huge body, broad shoulders, you know, wide hips. You take that Wilson, keep it away from people. He knows how to spin off of contact too. I noticed that earlier in his post game, which is very important if you're playing in this physical brand of basketball. That shows his kind of his finesse game, too. It's not all about bruising you and brutalizing you and overpowering you. 
It's about get, having a good feel for that defender and using your skill set to get a bucket. He, he does that so well. Yeah, and look, he has the timing down as well because you can't post up for more than three seconds in this game if you're back to the basket. So he hits him with his, uh, his shoulder and his forearm on the one move. Either he hits him for a second bump or he spins off and he has that little floaty hook shot he's got. Again, props. Never in a rush. No. So, so patient. We we'll have to exercise some patience here. I don't know what what the holdup is. The scoreboard is out. Oh, is that it? Yes, we got some technical difficulties. It's great. At least the home crowd is entertained by this team. They got their Utsunomiya Brex signs out. This place would go crazy to see Utsunomiya get a win here and advance to day two. This break, though, is in favor of one team more than the other. Oh, it's the favorites Partizan for certain. Yes. The Wentham was fully on Team Utsunomiya's side. And also, fatigue was starting to come into play. And now, Partizan, they've got, you know, at least a little bit of rest. Got their feet back up under them. It's lit in here, though, huh? It is. Look at the crowd. First visit to Japan and to the city of Utsunomiya, and so far I've been very impressed. I got to take it to the Utsunomiya Castle. There's a castle. Yep, straight up this road here, about 15 minute walk. And it's not Takeshi's castle. No. Okay. I'll go with you then, because I'm not trying to dodge some weird big boulders. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. It's the ruins of a castle. Okay. The moat is still there. I'll go with you. Okay, good. It's a mandate. That bro, I'm mandating. That's <laughs> never mind. It, who scored that? I, I was too busy looking at you. Atana solve again. Well, why didn't it change the scoreboard? Now it did. Still, there we go. All toward pizza. A near impossible shot. I think that touched the rim. I think it did, but. Going back, Atanashov started the game dropping down below every screen, not putting out pressure underneath the rim as we see his last bucket here. But as he scored more, and I, I know that feeling, he's starting to put out more pressure. His confidence is up, and he feels like he'd take on the world right now. Melivojevic had that one roll out on him. Oh, oh, that's going to count. Wait a minute. No. Wait a second. I think they're going to discuss that. I think, let's see. Oh, I think it's, that's got to count. I think that should count. He went right up with it. Yeah, I think that's got to count. They want to look at it. Yeah. All right. So Mili Vojevic had him, did have him wrapped before the ball was fed to him. But as soon as he got possession of that ball, he turned around immediately. And that's when you heard the whistle. I'm, I'm curious, though, because going by the rules, and I might I might be completely wrong on this. If he catches the ball there and the fouls before the catch, isn't that a, a scoring opportunity that's been taken away? Well, and there's no play on the ball. I think it depends on the whistle. The whistle didn't come before the ball before the ball touched that time of show's hands. All right. And I think as soon as it touched his hands, he began the motion of the shot. You hear the whistle. In my opinion, it counts. But well, I'd say out of a out of a hundred times, I might be wrong once. Uh, all right, this might be the one time. Okay, whatever you say. Well, <laughs> I, I I have to say I agree with you. I do think this this score should count. But again, I didn't get my referee diploma ever in basketball so I'm I'm not your refer uh, it's a good referral point here well I'm sticking my neck out and I'm risking possible embarrassment and credibility there it is not only does the bucket count it's upgraded to an unsportsmanlike all right what I tell thank you. you thank you I think thank you are both right now there you go I'm 100 percent today you are you are let's see how long you can keep that up though <laughs> Oh, I t 
Again, it's an upgrade. It's an unsportsmanlike, so that's why you see the two free throws for Tana Show. He at least wants to get the second. He does that. Three-point lead, Utsunomiya. They run Milivojevic off the line. Lasic drops it off toward Pizza. Good patience by Lasic going up with that, acting like he was going to shoot it, and then dropping it down to Torbica for an easy lay. Man, this he's a terror. They are going to have nightmares of Theodore Atanasio. Fourteen eleven. They're back to play and drop defense now. Oh, and, and there's that look that Billy Vojevic. There you go. You, I think you're 100% too. Yep. You pointed that out. I don't get why they went back to it. It might just be the energy level of Atanashov. Yeah, not able to close out. Even, even Torbic is a tough matchup for him on the perimeter. Wow. I'm, I'm not sure why Billy Vojevic took that shot. Shot clock. Oh. Oh, you can't sell that. No. Nah. You can't sell those goods. It's a swan dive right there. Yep. Saito. He needs to make up for that mistake at the end of last game. The scoring spree continues for Atana Show. He is getting whatever he wants, whenever he wants. The recipe for success for Team Utsunomi is clear. Well, feed the parking meter. Yeah. It could be a recipe for disaster for Partizan. They keep, they are getting a heavy dose of Theodore Atanashov. I'd say he's, he's got to be a double digit, digit score in this he, game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, we're halfway there. Living on the grass. You see, you want to risk your voice like that, Make getting those high notes out of you. That's all good. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm all right. I'm keeping it in a certain octave. I can't take it up. We got plenty more talking to do this week. I'm saving mine. Yeah, we do. Okay, Millie Voyevich. Shooting a couple here. Uta Demia's seventh foul. One more will put Parkinson in front. There it is. Talked a lot about Uta Demia Brexit in this one, but credit to Parkinson playing with three dudes. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Whoa. Good recovery defense blocked out of bounds. Only 1.9 seconds left, but Sukor, I don't even know how he managed to get the ball back. Yeah, he lost the Wilson and got it back somehow in the same possession. A ton of show. Four C. I think with the new rules of untravel, you're better off shooting like a hook shot from there. Yeah. There's no way you can get space. No, without not without shuffling your feet. Milivojevic. For pizza likes the look. Saito, no chance against Lasic unless he misses it, which he did. Nakanishi will get it over to Saito. Saito working on Lasic. Saito stepping back. Saito. Nikanashi out to Saito. That's a way to make up for it. Utsunomiya up one. Saito's got to find a way to hold his own health defense. It's no good. It's a foul. Take a look at this offensive possession by Team Utsunomiya. Everybody touched the Wilson. The ball went around and hit Saito for an open shot, but then he gives up a lot of ground. Just either give him a one-pointer or just, I don't know, play other defense than he did now, but you can't foul and put him on the line for two, especially as this team plays with three. You're giving him a chance to catch his breath. Last 
is no good. Second, also no good. Big offensive rebound. And yet another miss. 2.30 to play. What a look. Hotel and show easy money. Great patience by Super. Oh, Billy Voyevich. Ice water running through his veins. The man is cold. Super also cold from long range. A different way, however. Billy Voyevich, no. Time to show, gets it out. Get it back to him. A two would win it. Why? Shakur. I'm not sure why. Another oh, drop whoa, coverage. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Oh, white ball. That was some LeBron James level flopping right there. Did you see that? I did see that. Oh my God! Yeah, he couldn't touch. That was heady that he didn't touch that. Should have let it run out of bounds. Russell Crowe would be ashamed, Gladiator. That was not good acting. Nah. <laughs> I'm sure they're gonna put Milivojevic in another ball screen here as Utsunomiya continues to drop coverage. Now a switch, but it leads to an easy score. All right, here we go. 1919 game. Atana show. No. Milivojevic to Torbica. The torpedo, no! Sukur goes down! They go inside to a tennis show! What a performance from the big man! Billy Boye missed the gladiator, no! See, where it matters most, Atanashov is coming out of that drop defense, at least hitting the level of the screen, contesting the shots. Much needed defensive stop here for Utsunomiya, who can go into the big fella and try to see if he can create magic down the stretch of this game. Another nail biter. This is ridiculous. It's a season over. I thought we were going to have it easy. The first day. Wow, this has got to be four or five games in a row that have come down to the wire, right? Yep. Oh, man. Just ridiculous. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying anything because I'm trying to conserve my voice. Let's, let's see. You shouldn't sing. That's all I'm saying. Crazy. This is a ridiculous game, though. Atanashov must be at 13, maybe 14 points. He is unguardable for Team Partizan. Nothing you could do. This man could score in handcuffs right now. So. They go with Sukur, Yuki, and Atanashov. A down screen action coming. I'm sure they're going to try to post up the big fella. Oh, they, they, they throw it away. Oh, no, okay. Well, let's see if Pakistan want to challenge. They do. Yeah. Call on the floor is. Oh, oh, he might have saved that. I didn't see if his feet were in bounds, though. Well, I think. It looked like he might have threw it off of Thor Pizza. Yeah, yeah, but if his foot was already on the line and when he touched it and threw it back, and I couldn't see that. It's a good challenge. It's a very good challenge. Rushed play here, rushed execution here by Team Utsunomiya. They got the right screen. They wanted to post up in the middle of the lane for Atanashov. Yuki just a little quick with the pass, and that put it out of reach for the big fella. Challenge lost, though. Seven seconds. It's Utsunomiya. Breaks ball. Game point for them. They go with the same play. Two pop Sukur! Westside! Utsunomiya for the win! Beto Sukur secures the W with a horse shot. Your e. Better yet, there's your W. The win goes to Utsunomiya Brex in front of the home crowd. Just wow. a ridiculous shot. How did he get that up and over Milivojevic who played 
Great, great defense. 